us another project out here in the shop. County line opened up some body rules and my dad wants me to put a body on his race car. So we got his Camaro in the shop. Hopefully we can knock this thing out right quick because we got some uh, young. See, I already started stripping this car. We, uh, we're gonna go pick up a 2020 Masters built um, chassis and uh, got a lot of work to do. Um, gonna hopefully be ready for uh, VMS's first points race with a 604 in the car, which is April 13th. So we got some work to do and uh, not a whole lot of time to do it. So we're gonna have some long nights out here in the shop, but it'll all be worth it in the end. Um, that chassis just wasn't really worth uh, fixing really. The front clips pushed over. I probably could have pulled it out, but we had an opportunity to get a newer chassis, so we're gonna take advantage of it. Gotta thank Barry and uh, Miss Lori out there at Four Boys, cause they're really looking out for us on that deal. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't get it together for VMS. But back to the old dad's car. He got the Camaro out here. I don't know why he wants a body on it, especially at that class out there at uh, County Line. And I know he wants to go race other places and that shit too, but I'd keep beating this thing out and it's a street stock. I, I'm The only reason I'll ever put a body on my street stock is it's a Cruiser car, so it's a little bit better grade of car, if you want to say that. And no, nah, there ain't nothing wrong with the car here. It's just, it was built for a factory body and it's, I'm gonna have a lot of work to do to get this thing where it can take a, a you know, a full sheet metal body. And uh, we're gonna bring y'all along with us. But uh, yeah, my dad just wants a nice looking race car. That's all it amounts to. And I don't blame him, but I don't want the extra work. I know that much. But anyhow, we're gonna throw y'all up on a tripod here. There's Billy Bob. I done forgot what I called him in the video the other day. I mean, that's going to be the new driver if I keep tearing stuff up. But uh, anyhow, we're, uh, we're going to keep on uh, working here. And uh, if anybody's interested in that Barry Wright, she's sitting over there in the trailer. I need it out my way because I got my eyes on another uh, Masters built that I want to go pick up. So uh, y'all interested in it, it's a 22. Not a whole lot of races on it. Uh, just get with me and uh, we can talk about price and that kind of stuff. We got this baby stripped on down. Dad went and picked up his bumper today for the new nose. Jeff Parsons, old Leaf Nation baby. We got us some work to do here. So uh, we got this thing stripped back down on Sunday, and um, now it's time to get to work. Uh, got to read over this rule book and uh, see how I can cheat. Not really, but uh, got to see how we can, you know, find the gray areas and push this thing as much as we can because I know everybody else is going to be doing the same thing, which it really don't matter because, like I keep telling Dad, it's going to look like a damn golf ball anyways with the way them folks drive in this class. But uh, 
And it was a good looking race car. I'm gonna do my best, try to give it to him. It's gonna be kind of tough on this car just cause the, uh, the second gen Camaros have uh, that real big tall hump in the back and the real short roofs. So uh, being that it was built and they never cut the body off, the cage is even shorter. So uh, it's gonna be kind of tough to, uh, to do what I wanna do, but also stay in the rules and all that kind of stuff. My idea was just to uh, copy uh, Mr. Marty from Potomac. Stevie Ginger used to drive or drives that car up there in the hobby stock class. And uh, I wanted to do an old school late model body on it, but he's already got this new gen nose or whatever. So we're gonna roll with what we got. And uh, that's the nose he wants to go with, not my car. I don't make those calls. I'm just gonna be doing all the work. But uh, it's okay, cause I'm gonna get some work back out of him cause we got a, we got a new project sitting over on a trailer. Be another video, but uh, super excited about that. And uh, yeah, so last night we got some T-bar material. Uh, got that from Miss Lori and Mr. Barry up there at uh, Four Boys. So appreciate them having stuff like that in stock. It's a lot cheaper to buy, you know, raw material like that from those folks than it is to go to Lowe's or whatever. I usually, I've been just going to Lowe's. I didn't know they carried stuff like that, but I'm glad I asked that question and glad that uh, we were able to get it so we can get this body done. So anyhow, we're gonna, we're gonna start, you know, beating our head on the wall a little bit and see, uh, see what we can do. Cause I think the plan is we're gonna leave the stock Camaro roof kind of like my car's done and, uh, just go off that and see if we can make something look half ass decent. So anyhow, we're uh, gonna get to work here, waiting for dad to get here. He's got the bumper. I kind of want to start with the front end and just move backwards. And uh, I don't know, they, they can't even run a full deck in this class. So it's kind of a pain to, uh, to do this mess. And then like it's impossible to only have an eight inch uh, filler panel over here on a Camaro because they're, it's like 12 inches for a Camaro because they're subframe cars. They, they, it's not like it's a full chassis car like a Monte Carlo. So these rules are kind of, they're kind of shitty. They're kind of, they're just not uh, Camaro friendly, if you will. But uh, we'll make it work. And if that's the only thing they got to worry about on a the body, then I guess we can just say screw it and they'll, uh, they'll get over it, I reckon. But we, uh, we're going to do our best to stay within the rule book, maybe. I don't know. But <laughs> anyhow, we're going to get off here, stop talking, and uh, try to get some work Alrighty. done. We're getting some progress, getting some progress. I had to make a slide because I don't know if we're going to use this roof, but I had to get it where you get in there. Now, nah. I've been putting this off, and I ain't looking forward to, to messing with this, but... From here to there is like an inch difference in length front to back. So I got some math to math and I don't know if my math got a math today. Yesterday I made a panel and I messed it up, which I messed up anyways because the notches for these down bars and everything should have been on this panel and that panel. But I got a little far ahead of myself. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna have to I think I'm just gonna make these two pieces and one or two separate pieces Had to make a little spacer to get the deck somewhere to mount and uh, Yeah, and then we're gonna make a trunk back here and fun stuff Time to get back to work. Although I will say That right there is uh, shoo, Perfect makes me happy except just don't look right there. I ain't looking at that Old man Philip out here having a nerf nerf gun war. Oh, you can't see that. Not yet. Oop. Well, we got us a little bit of work done today. The uh, the deck and the front end's all done on the on the car. Dad's got to get him a couple clamps. The I think they're called like Ludwig clamps or something like that for this trunk to hold it flat. Cause I tucked it in there real nice and she she's a tight fit. But uh, 
she uh she turned it out pretty good just got to do some sides on it and then figure out uh the roof and the sails and all that kind of stuff and she'll be ready to go you're looking pretty spiffy that piece right there kicked my tail too so any of you fellas doing these bodies kudos to you Nice tight fit. Yeah. And I did my hood hole down all in one with the filler panel. What? I'm gonna hug you. Yeah, I'll take a hug. Appreciate it, Bubba. Right. Little man's been keeping the shop clean for me. He got in trouble at school on Friday, so I've been having to put him to work, punish him. We're gonna see how he does this week. All right, we're gonna try this again. So last night we tried to come out here and get this thing knocked out. Uh, that was a sheet of metal short. Uh, <laughs> tag on doors are so freaking long on this thing. Uh, I just hope it don't end up looking like an El Camino or something. But uh, anyhow, just got the first wheel well done on the quarter panel. I went and picked up a sheet of metal for dad after work. There's a place about five minutes from where I work that uh, stocks it. So... Since I only need one sheet, I just went over there and got it. Most of the time I get all my stuff from Four Boys. Um, that's where I get all my stuff. Dad does his own thing. He don't listen to nobody. I told him he needed se seven sheets minimum to do this. He didn't believe me. Now, he's wanting to put a roof on and everything now, and we ain't going to have enough metal to do all that. And I tried to tell him that, but at, at the beginning, I was like, it's going to take eight sheets, period. And he don't want to listen to nobody. Hell, it takes eight or nine just to do a modified. He ain't got no fenders on them. But um, anyhow, this thing's, she's turning out. I don't really like these Dominator noses. It's the one he wanted. It's like a 2012 Camaro. I think they're, I think they're too boxy. I like the, I like the little bit newer ones, like what's on my car. I think that's an MD3 or something like that, but it's whatever. It's his car, not mine. But uh, she's turning out pretty good. I'm going to flip you all around real quick, show you where we at. So she's looking like a rocket ship right now. I got that thing nice and tight. That's the way I like it, nice and tight. Got little man out here, gray digging it up. Don't run me over. Want to say what's up to everybody? You're crazy, boy. Dang, I keep showing y'all that. Don't look at that yet. That's another video. Cold. Good God Almighty, boy. Yeah, You're freezing. Hard. All right, folks. We pretty much got this uh, street stock body done for Dad. Um, I just got home from County Line. We went up there and watched the racing. As you can see, this thing turned out pretty good. I got to weld some tabs on so I can uh, mount some bracing. Um, weld some tabs on the front bumper to put a couple bolts in the front bumper. And we got to do hood pins. And this thing will be knocked out. Um, anyhow, we, uh, we're going to come back out here in the morning. It's, it's after uh, midnight and I got to go in and drop the Browns off to the Super Bowl. But, uh, I wasn't going to come out here and work on it, but kind of don't want to now. You know how that goes. So anyhow, uh, she's looking, she's looking right. Looking she right. Is, uh, she's looking sharp. I got all my stuff laid out, so in the morning I come out here and, uh, you know, get to work. But on the sale panels, uh, I don't I don't know how I like them. Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think. I was going for like a second gen Camaro style uh, sale panel. Uh, there's just a lot of extra room here because it's a leaf spring car. And I know on the metric cars, they'll cut that daggone thing off back there so you ain't got eight foot of... Uh, rear deck or whatever you want to call it but i was going for a second gen style look because we're using a second gen roof that's kind of my call but uh she's uh she's sharp she's real sharp this side she's got some angles to her but i think once we put some bracing down here on that it'll really uh tighten it up but them wheel wells are 
tits, man. They're, they're on there. I'm, uh, I pride myself on my wheel wells because that's what makes or breaks a body. Made the right front a little bit bigger. Let this thing roll over over there. I think this might have been my best one. That might have been the best wheel well. But another thing I did is, uh, so I had to make the rockers for this thing because the doors are 17 feet wide or long. And uh, on the front here, I took some of that rolled plastic and I extended the front bumper out. And it's some little detail stuff like that for me that, uh, you know. Little details like that really make a car look good. And uh, it's kind of, you know, I'm OCD. When I do something, I want to do that thing 100% and make it look as good as I can. And uh, that's one thing on my street stock that kills me. And I'll probably, we got some of that rolled plastic left. I'm probably going to do that on my street stock just to finish that nose off, which that car looks like it got opened like a can of daggone tuna. But uh, we're going to beat it out. We're going to try to be back down at Fayetteville for the nut up or shut up race. And uh, this is another thing, like just like simple stuff like rounding the edges with a file. It completes the body, in my opinion. And not everybody does it, but I'm used to. Uh, you know, when I started building bodies, I had Mr. Larry in the shop helping me. And, you know, them old folks, they, they get cut up pretty easy. And their their blood's like old oil and it's real thin. So you got to take care of them old folks, you know what I'm saying? So uh, my dad's getting up there in age. So I can't have him crawling into a race car getting cut and he bleeds out or whatnot. But uh, anyhow, uh, just for all you folks out there building bodies, do that little extra and make it look good. It takes a little bit of extra time. Like I didn't, I plan to do this car in like three or four days, but this was probably one of the tougher bodies I've ever built. Um, really the deck on it, the, everything else is, I knocked it out, you know, easy. But trying to make everything on this car work together and, you know, try to stay within those uh, rules for county line was kind of tough for me. Um, I... <sighs> I don't know, I don't understand some of the rules in there. So some of them, like the right side uh, filler panel from the door to the cage, I couldn't make ours eight inches. So you got a problem with it, it is what it is. And if you want to throw them out over two inches of sheet metal on the right side of the door, that's, I mean, I just think that's a silly rule to have. Um, but I know that, uh, I, I think the tech guy, he'll, he'll understand because that rule book was kind of based off of a metric car more so than a, than a Camaro. And uh, having specific rules like that is kind of hard to do when you're, you know, you're building off of a, like most of those guys are still running stock bodies on those cars out there at County Line. And when they try to go to a body like this, it's pretty tough to stay within those guidelines. And like I get the deck height, that's, you know, you got to have that. And hell, I'm two inches under the deck height, but... I, I, so dad plans to race some Crusa stuff. He knows he's a little bit out card, but he's just racing for fun. So I try to keep the, the body within county line rules as well as the Crusa rules. So, you know, he can, he can race more than just a couple of times a year while I'm not racing. And, uh, hopefully he'll have his car ready by the end of the, uh, the end of the week and we'll both be racing at Fayetteville and that'd be pretty fun it's been a while since he and I's been on the same racetrack and it's I had to find somebody to film for me but uh it'll be a good time and uh I'll wave to him every time I lap him but no nah, my dad uh he'll be all right he just he's a little bit outgunned on motor and that kind of stuff and honestly Camaros and the Crusa stuff uh it, it's tough on them and uh those, I mean, metric cars are just kind of taking over that whole class. But, uh, you know, it's part of uh, racing evolving, and it is what it is at that point. So, and there's there's a lot of advantages to the uh, the metric four links and that kind of deal. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go into the house and uh, give me a little sleep. You know, I can tell I'm a little bit tired. Been uh We've been we've been out here in the shop working hard on this thing, and I'm ready to get some sleep. Wake up in the morning bright and early, and come out here and knock this thing out. And then uh, we'll get our next project in here, which I'm looking forward to share with you fellas and fellets. And anyhow, we will bring y'all back out here in the morning. Also, got that mullet starter kit. Uh, 
been told a couple times by my, by my good buddies up in Maryland that uh, mullets make you go faster, and they also keep your cars together. So we're going to try that out. I'm pretty desperate for some luck, so maybe the mullet will do it. I think, I think this deer might bring me some luck too. Uh, I'm about to just put him in the daggone cars to drive because I ain't cutting it. But we uh, we just out here having a little bit of fun. But we'll uh, get back with you folks in the morning and hopefully have this thing together and out of my way because I got a ton of work to do. Like I say, y'all still see that car over there. It's it's still sitting there. Still got to finish stripping it. Um, Kind of wanted to get dad's car knocked out because technically his first race is before mine because I'm shooting for VMS on the 13th and uh, hopefully uh, Michael will have our uh, Michael Rouse out of Wilson. Uh, hopefully he'll have the 604 ready for us because uh, I think we're going to try to go, sh go up there and race for points. And you can't beat it, man. You just, there's not very many points races up there and it's just something to add to a resume and uh, that's, a, that's a big deal. Uh, you know, hunting sponsors and that kind of stuff. It looks real good on you when you're uh, hunting the sponsors. Like, oh, well, we were rookie of the year last year at this track in a modified, and, and, you know, we finished, I think, sixth in points, and we missed two or three races. Um, and then we go up there this year in a late model and still still getting our feet wet in that. And hopefully we can uh, finish top five in points. That'd be a pretty good goal, I think. And uh, I, I think... Uh, Going to VMS and racing sounds like a great idea because there's some weekends I can go race Potomac, hang out with old Mike Stello, and then just shoot on down to VMS on the way home. And that's uh, that's what he wants me doing is uh, trying to get as much racing in on a weekend as I can, and you know, not have to drive out of my way to go do that. So uh, he's the boss man, that's for sure. He keeps us up and down the road. So I appreciate everything he does for me to keep it where I can still you know travel and race and. Uh, made it to the racetrack as often as I can. So uh, definitely got to listen to that man. Uh, smart old fella. But anyhow, I'm rambling. I'm going to get off here and we're uh, back out here. Tomorrow. Looks like trash out here. Looks like a trash can out here. Cruiser racing. 